Hi, welcome back to HATV. I'm Paul Malkmus. I'm Ann Malkmus. And today we're going to make a banana boat. A cucumber boat. Okay, a cucumber boat. It's not a banana boat, it's a cucumber <laughs> boat. But it looks pretty cute, doesn't it? Isn't this cute? Look at how this is the finished product right here, and it's wonderful. Um, we even have a sail. Now, the neat thing about this banana boat is that it's all raw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cute, and, and your kids will enjoy this little cucumber boat because it's fun to look at. Mm -hmm. And it's simple to make and put together, and you can make a variety of these recipes and just alter just a little bit, and it'll really be good. So, we start out with Shall we a start? cucumber. We start out with a cucumber, and we've already gone ahead and, and peeled the cucumber to take mm -hmm. all of the skin off of it. Mm -hmm. We're slicing it in half, mm -hmm. and then we're going to remove the seeds from inside the cucumber. That's right. And we do that with just a nice little spoon. Mm -hmm. And you just run that spoon right down that center part to remove all those seeds. And it works pretty, pretty quickly, nice. Pretty really. Mm -hmm. Just slide your way right through it. And at the end, you have a nice looking boat. cucumber. It's boat. a fun little boat. There you go. Mm -hmm. How's yours looking? Looks like a boat. Looks like a boat? Mm -hmm. Does it float? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. How's that look? So then what we'll do is we'll just cut a little bit off the bottom of this. Okay. So that it doesn't, so, so that it floats. So it's flat, right? Right. That way it doesn't just roll over every time you try to do something with yeah, it. Yeah, sometimes boats don't float. Now, we're ready for the, we've got the boat. What mm -hmm. do we put in the boat? Well, now we're going to use a half a cup of carrots. Mm -hmm. And we're going to combine that with a half a cup of tomatoes. Okay. And you're slicing up, what, about a half a cup of... Onions. Onions? Green onions. You want to use that knife or another I'm fine. knife? I'm fine. This good? will work. Mm-hmm. And we're also going to add in about four tablespoons of raw almond butter. And if you wanted, you could use cashew butter as well, although the cashew butter typically isn't 100% raw. They have to heat the nuts a little bit to extract them from the shell, and so they're considered a little more of a cooked food in the, in the um, cashew butter. Mm-hmm. And you can use more of the nut butter, but this seems to be enough to be able to do what we want it to do, and that is to hold it together. Look how pretty this will be. All the different colors. I have some big ones in here that probably won't fit as well. I'll give you the smaller ones. Okay. Well, we like chunks of onions. We do like You know, like if you don't chunks. like onions, leave the onions out. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to put some red pepper in, or green pepper, or, or um, anything else that, that you like, if you, know, if you prefer to have some kind of a... Um, even a squash type thing, you could do that instead of the instead of the carrots. That's right. That's right. And add more if you like it because mm -hmm. it's here. There you go. But the cucumbers are so moist. They're they're great for hydrating the body. Mm-hmm. And once once we put our mix together, we just go ahead and line our our cucumber boat up. Pretty simple. It's straightforward, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And it makes a lot, and so that way you can have this for guests, and uh, you can embellish it if you choose to can with imagine rice. imagine that as a centerpiece? Could you? Or if you wanted to, you could put some rice paper, which is edible, mm -hmm. and you can make just kind of a, a little glaze, maybe out of beet max, so you can have kind of a fun little coloring on the rice paper. That'd be a blast. Put a little smiley face for the kids. Yes. They'd really enjoy that. How fun. Even some more. Yes. This smells excellent because of all the, the, whether it's the nut butter or the tomato or the onion, the combination is excellent. There we go. If you want to, you can just fill that one up and then I'll put the boat in the middle. Oh, that makes, that, we'll that just way put we'll, all of that in here. Sure. If you'd like. And if Watch, you, don't rock the boat. I almost rocked the boat here, that's right. And what we used to make the boat stand up straight was just some pasta noodles. Mm -hmm. and we that's, did. That's what we used on the on both sides that you saw in the beginning. That's right. So here we have a very attractive little piece of cucumber boats. How fun! And that's really neat. Mm -hmm. And so if you had a skewer, we used a straw in the middle to hold our lettuce leaf up. But if you had a skewer, you could use that, and it probably would work a little bit better. Mm -hmm. A vegetable skewer. A vegetable what skewer. What a good idea! It'd be really pretty neat. We have to give credit to our videographer. He saw us doing this, and he said, "Oh, I know a way your kids would enjoy this." Why don't you make it a real boat with a sail on top? That's what he did, and he made it. Mm-hmm. So. Um, mm -hmm. 
cucumber vegetable boat. It's really good, it's yummy, it tastes good, and a lot of variety, and it's all raw. And so it's part of that 85% raw that, that we're looking for in the Halley diet. Doesn't look like a salad to me. It sure does not. But uh, try the, veg or the uh, cucumber boat and let us know what you think. This is AM and PM on HATV. We'll see you next time.